I'm just going to use this to show a few basic differences between um, arcs and what are called interpolated point curves. Turn my grid snaps off. You drop down the curve, you'll see the arc. Um, there's various ways to draw arcs. You can do center start angle, start in direction. That'll allow me to draw an arc. And it picks the end point, and then you can just draw whatever direction the arc wants to go. So some of these can become a little unwieldy if you uh, don't know how to use them right. One really useful arc command is a start point end. A start end radius is also very useful. For this I want a start point end. So what that does is I hit the start point and then the point in the command name is the middle. That's where the peak of the arc will be. So I want that to be at the end of this line. And then the end. So that creates an arc defined around these three lines. Now I can place that anywhere on the field if I want to right click in the top view. I place it randomly. See, it'll start. If you spin it in, a, if you try to put the next point behind the midpoint, it'll start creating more circular effects and start wrapping in on itself. So, and the midpoint is showing you where the radius. So that's the center of where this arc is defined. And another command that we use often in modeling more freeform, so if you want more curvilinear shapes at longer distances, is if you hold down here the interpolate points curve. Now there's a few different options for drawing more freeform curves. You have control point curves, and there's quite a big difference between these two, even though it looks to be very similar lines if you're just drawing them by themselves. You also have handle curves and Bezier curves. Uh, a quick difference between the control points and interpolate points I can demonstrate with this point group. So this is this command here, which is control points curve. And what's that? What's that? What that is doing is wherever point I click is where its control points are defined. Uh, we don't really know what that is yet, but I'll get to that in a second. So I hit enter, and then the points that I drew this line through, wherever I clicked, I clicked on these outer points. If I go over to the left, and this icon here is control points on. If I put this on, and select this, hit enter, shows you the control. Now we use control points to manipulate objects. We'll get into this more later, but since I was defining this by the control points, it's taking this line and kind of drawing the line through the middle of where these control points are located. And they're located exactly on the point that I drew it on. So if I escape, it turns those off. You can also turn them off by right clicking the icon. Um, now the difference between the interpolate points curve is that whatever point I draw it on, It puts the line and interpolates it exactly through that point, or pretty close. So it basically defines the line through the points that you're drawing it.
And if I select the control points for that, the control points are off the line that, since it's drawing the line through the different points, it puts the control points and defines them out in the air. So escape to get out of that. Now we can use these and you can draw as many points as you want and you can even bring it in and close them off to create a closed curve. So by themselves they create things that look very similar in free form but they do have differences and the interpolate points curve also differs from arcs very slightly in just how it's defined So if I draw this through the set of points here and enter, you can see the slight difference between it and the arc that was drawn earlier. Since they're defined, since this is defined to interpolate the curve through the different points, the interp curve, um, it mathematically defines the curve slightly different than what an arc would do. Also, an arc cannot great points um, out in space. It's only three points. Um, you can add control points to these uh, later on, but it's not really necessary to get into right now. So these are the basics of curves. Um, there's, al oh, there's also closed curves. So there's a difference between the open curves and closed curves like I've just mentioned. Just delete all this. But if you want to draw a basic circle, you can either define its radius, or if you go up, I want it radius to be two feet. Type that in. Right click, I can repeat the command. Um, and I can make it based off of its diameter. So now I can type, since its radius last my input was two feet, now the diameter is four feet. So if I enter, I'll get the same size based on a four foot diameter. Uh, you can change, in most commands, you can change the input option up next to the command. There's various ways to create circles. You can draw a circle by just the diameter. You can define it by three different points. Um, it's just a matter of playing around with it, seeing which command is necessary for what you're modeling. Sometimes it's easier to draw a circle from if you're drawing it across two lines. You can draw it based on a point that's over here to a point that's over here and have a circle between two objects. You can also draw ellipses um, based on two different radiuses or a diameter and a ra another radius. So it's a matter of playing with these. Uh, I've already gone through um, the arcs. Then there's rectangles and also polygons. So if you want to draw a square, there's these square commands. Um, polygon. It'll ask you the number of sizes. So if this automatically makes a pentagon with five sides. If I want a hexagon or an octagon, I'll put in eight sides. And then that allows me to draw these shapes. Rectangle. So Rhino has a number of built-in commands that makes it easier. So this would make it, if I wanted to find this, I'll make the next uh, corner to be four feet. So that made it four feet from here to here. And then my next length, if I want it to be 10 feet tall, type in 10. So there's various ways that make it much easier than drawing just straight lines to define these geometries. Alright, well thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed.